Well, once again, we say welcome aboard. It's good to be with you this time. Brother Munn speaking. Our program here called Fisherman's Five Minute Look at the Book. And the book was John chapter 15, all the way down to verse 16. And our thought this week is remaining fruit, remaining fruit. Let me read the verse. And then we'll pick you up. Uh, maybe you hadn't gotten our broadcast uh, so far this week. So to catch you up as far as a context. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. The sense of discipleship, apostleship. They didn't call themselves. It was Christ that called them. And then it said, and ordained you. He called them and ordained them. And now he's going to commission them to do what? I read. That ye should go and bring forth fruit. All right, what they were going to do, they're going to preach the gospel story. And the gospel is the power of God and the salvation. What, what's going to happen? All right, when they preach this gospel, all about Jesus Christ, they were going to be converts. All right, now this was their fruit. The fruit of a Christian is another Christian. Not to be confused with the fruit of the Spirit now. The fruit of a Christian, another Christian. And as far as these converts is concerned, it said this, that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. Oh, that's a good verse. The most significant contribution that I could make in life is the passing on of my faith. All oh, that faith is in Christ. The passing on of my faith to the next generation. You know, sad, uh, most leave no one behind to take their place. I've seen this in funeral services where a believer passed and uh, they, they, they were great at this we think about soul winning, uh, preaching the gospel, getting the gospel to us, passing out gospel tracts, getting people to come to church. They were so good about this. And they, I mean, there many, many people came to know Christ, but none of the family. So when we put them in the ground, that was over with. What happens? If that happens in Christianity, the light of Christianity is going to dim all the way to the point whereby it goes into darkness Christianity will die if the fruit doesn't remain. I've asked the question this week, is some of our catch spoiling? That was one of the things I had to learn to do as a young man working aboard uh, a shrimp trawler. All the catch that came up from the ocean floor, that catch had to be, all right, taken, well taken care of. We think about, as far as, uh, let me just throw this in there, what we had to do, we had to clean it thoroughly, you know. Um, what we were saving was shrimp. Very few of the fish products, most of it was bycatch that we put back into the ocean, and all the fish that followed us was excited to, to find us because we'd throw this bycatch back, and oh, it was free food for them, you know. But our catch we had to take very well taken care of it. Wash it off. Very, very good. Make sure it was clean. Now with our converts, Art, I can't do that. What? I can't wash them. I can't clean them. He said, what do you do to be able to help them with this? Ah, uh, we must immediately get them into the Word of God. Now, we don't introduce them, first of all, to just a list of do's and don'ts, you know. I'll just get them to be daily exposed to the Word of God. And you know what? God will do the cleaning. Huh? As far as the Holy Spirit is concerned, it'll work in the life of these new believers, you know. And they'll learn all kinds of verses, all to help them, all to stay clean, all like the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 32, always like verse 23. It talks about, oh, as far as your sin is concerned, be sure your sin will find you out. Proverbs 15, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. In the New Testament, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Uh, we see that our new converts are exposed to the Word of God, and you know what happens? All through a, a ministry, uh, being faithful as far as church is concerned, uh, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, you said, what is that? A process whereby... The believer, the new convert, grows in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then this fruit would remain. You know what happens? Oh, they begin to pick up the same call that we have. And they begin to tell others, you know. What are you saying? I'm saying this is some of our fruit, my friend, spoiling. Jesus said, go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Remaining fruit. 
Until tomorrow, Fisher Mon saying goodbye.